Hello. I got my little thing that follows me around. How y'all doing tonight? This is my Christmas gift to myself. I always like stuff that's either going to light up or that's blinging. My daughter called me glitter. <laughs> I'm more like a bling queen. But, of course, y'all know my name is Isis, but I mean, maybe I'm Isis, the bling queen, and, and a couple of more things. But, anyway, I'm here to check in with you guys to see what y'all watch tonight. If y'all check out the um, Real, not Real Housewives, Love and Hip Hop uh, Miami. I came on tonight. And I, I, out of one through five, I give it a five. <laughs> it was lit. It was, it was, it was popping up. It was like, it was a lot of stuff going on. The stuff with, uh, Flo and then everybody mad at, um, what's the girl name that was messing with Safari? Pretty dark skinned girl. Oh, Lord, I can't think of nobody's name. The medication got me on be making my memory bad. Um, everybody was talking about her. What's Shay's friend name? See, I can remember Shay. I can remember Flo. I can remember Trina. Oh, anywho. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Did y'all check it out? That new show on now, I ain't watching that. That Impact. That ain't the only thing I be watching, y'all. Sometimes I watch... Other, I watch other stuff besides reality shows, but reality shows is the new soap operas for me. So, I am still kind of upset. I watch Raising Canaan, and I'm mad that they got rid of my boy Unique. How you feel about that, man? That was messed up. And, and then his brother got my name. <laughs> Crazy. Anywho, um... So, have y'all been checking that out? So, after I watch that, then I also be watching, what did I watch? Oh, All the Queen's Men. I've been watching that since it came out. If y'all ain't watching Eva on that, y'all y'all don't know what y'all missing. Um, I usually don't watch anything. Well, I ain't gonna say anything. I just don't watch too many Tyler Perry, uh, what do you call them, like series. But I watched that because it kind of reminded me of myself because I used to have male stripper parties when I was in Virginia, when I was in between jobs. I, well, I had more than male stripper parties, but um, I think I had female stripper parties too, I would have selling parties, that's what we call them in VA, and let people play uh, dominoes or spades or something in the house, sell drinks and stuff. They call it rent parties here. We call them selling parties up there. So, when I was in between jobs, I was doing that. And I did all right, too. Tell you what, the, the male strippers did better than the female stripper shows for a show. So, yeah, when that came out, that, that reminded me of that. When I moved down here, I was doing um, male strip shows uh, at the place called... Tiger, Tiger, and Marietta, but it was called something else then. But, um, yeah, that was some years ago. I want to say 2012, 2013, maybe. Somewhere around there. Anywho. So, anyway, I was talking, um, Amara, that's her name. I was talking about love and hip-hop. Um, Miami. I want to know what y'all thought about it. It was good to me. Um, yeah, but everybody's upset with Am Amada. She be, she, she ghosts her friends. Uh, I think cause she be so busy and she just get caught up in her businesses and what she gotta do. Maybe she's just a bad friend too. I don't know. I try not to be like that. I guess we all should try not to be like that. But anywho, 
Then that show Impact came on. And I watched a few minutes of that, and then I was like, oh, it's time for me to go, because I think that show is too young for me. At least with Love and Hip Hop, you got some younger people, you got some people my age, you got some that's, you know, middle, man, like 30s and stuff like that, you know. So, I can watch it just like I could watch the other, you know, the Real Housewives and stuff. But anyway, so, it's just me here. I'm bored, and I came to talk to you guys. Y'all need to check out my YouTube channel. I do have some uh, content on there. You know, I used to I used to do YouTube like back in 2013. I want to say it was 2012, 2013. First, I was doing YouTube. I was trying to, you know, hype up my business when I had this shop at the flea market. Then I was like, you know what? I'm going to start doing shows about reality shows like Real Housewives of Atlanta. And stuff like that, yeah. So if you go back and look at my YouTube channel, I was doing that way before it was even thought of. <laughs> Anybody was doing it. Maybe, maybe Love B. Scott was doing it, but I didn't even see her on there doing it. I was talking about Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, and I would talk about Love and Hip Hop. Uh, I mean, not Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I would talk about Real Housewives of. Uh, I started talking about Beverly Hills when it came out, but I think Beverly Hills only been out, what, maybe, I think they're on season, what are they on, season 12? Maybe so. So it could have been around then. And um, then I was doing YouTube videos reviewing, like, different restaurants and bars I would go to, tell people to come out and check. So I was doing that before people was talking about, oh, you need to check out this spot in Atlanta. But then I started listening to my daughter, and let her fill up my head about, Mama, ain't nobody gonna watch that. But look, look now. That's what y'all doing on TikTok and on YouTube, pulling up places to go wherever you live, like the hot spots in Houston or Dallas or L.A. So, I also have a following. The biggest following I probably have is on Google because I'm always reviewing whatever restaurant I go to. I don't care if I go to McDonald's. <laughs> I'm going to review it, okay? Um, so, yeah, I always check out, like, especially if somebody go above and beyond or doing a great job or even if they just doing a mediocre job. But if they're doing a terrible job, you best believe I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to let you know. Because it was like, I've been doing customer service for a long time. <laughs> We're going to say about 20 plus years. I want to say 25 plus years I've been in customer service. So I don't believe that if that's people, I know some people can be irritating, but if that's not your shush, then don't get in that line of work. But I get a joy. I work in, I'm in healthcare now, but I still help people and I get a joy out of people really helping people, especially in need. That just brings me gratification. To be able to help somebody that really needs something. Just helping people in general, though. It don't take nothing to be nice, y'all. Y'all can be nice. Y'all ain't got to be hateful. But once I get my sound board, because my son gave me, I bought a sound card for my for my um, my YouTube. And then my son gave me a mixer that got sound effects on it. And I just hooked it up. And between me trying to heal from the surgery I told y'all I had and and just get back into work, get in the groove of things again. I just haven't had the time to be on there like I want to. But we're going to start um, um, creating new stuff. And mainly it's me. I do reviews and stuff like that. I think the biggest thing I got on there is showing you how to put a, um, the air fridge refrigerant in your, in your car for a Chevy Trax. But follow me, like, share, and subscribe to the Bling Queen, the old lady, uh, Isis. Stella is the wine that I drink. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm done being silly. I'm, I'm getting ready to put my hair up and put my pajamas on and go to bed. Peace out. See you later.
Bye.